Okay, so this first example, guys, um, what I'm concerned, what I'm, what I'm concerned with us looking at is just applying an operation, addition, and then being able to identify the domain. So not worrying about the range, just the domain. So in this case, what we have is the cube root of 2x plus 1, and then we have x cubed minus 5. And we're just looking into adding the functions. So if you see f plus g of x, you guys can see on the board, that's really just f of x plus g of x. So f of x is cube root of 2x plus 1. And g of x is x cubed minus 5. Now, have you guys learned how to add cube roots in x cubed? You guys learn in algebra 2? Did we talk about it yet in pre-calculus? No. Oh, well, guess what, guys? They're not like terms. They don't, they, you can't combine a x cubed and a cube root. Can't do it. So guess what? You never learned it because there's nothing more we can do with that. So we can't combine these. We can just lay it in. But can we add 1 and negative 5? Yes. OK, good. So we have the cube root of 2. What is this? It's 2x. So we have the cube root of 2x. Um, sorry, that's a plus. Plus x cubed. And then let's do minus 4. Now, if I was to give you a problem on your quiz, and I said, what's the domain of this function, probably some of you would be very confused. I would probably look at, look, look at that and say, yeah, I can probably see how that's confusing. So let's break it down for a function. The cube root function, if you guys remember your 12 basic functions, the cube root function has a domain of all real numbers. You can take the cube root because it's odd of any number, positive or negative. Then what about x cubed? What's the domain of that? All real numbers. Question? So again, what are the only restrictions we took, took a look at? Square root of a negative number dividing by 0. You guys agree that these two functions are not the square root of a negative number, or they're not going to involve taking the square root of a negative number or dividing by 0, correct? So that's why the domain here is all real numbers. So doesn't it make sense, guys, if we add these, just combine them together, that your domains are just going to be combined together, right? So the domain is pretty obvious here. It's actually just all real numbers, right? I mean, it kind of looks confusing, but it's really nothing, nothing crazy. Just combining them. 